Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, I actually did my makeup today, are we? Are we shocked? But I also couldn't be bothered to get dressed, so I'm in a hoodie. So like, it's called balance. Today, I have another haul for you. I know I said I was on a book buying ban, and like, the thing is, I've done so, I was so much better about not buying, um, not buying ebooks. Um, because that was where I was going wrong previously, and then somehow I just accumulated a whole bunch of physical books this month. So, like, I think that's even worse. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I, I, I really do need to start, <laughs> stop buying. I need to start actually stop buying books. That didn't make sense, grammatically. Whatever. The point is, I have a whole bunch of books for you. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the ebooks I bought this month. We're just gonna start there because there's less than the physical books, which, again, is appalling, appalling, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, the first book I bought was The Wolf of Oranyaro by K.S. Villioso. I know very little about this. This is the first book in the, I think it's called The Chronicles of the Bitch Queen, something like that. Um, I'm really bad with like series names versus book names, but I'm so excited to read this. I actually just got an arc for the second book as well, so I'm really, really excited to dive into both of these. Um, they are meant to be kind of like grim, dark fantasy, but I think it draws from Filipino mythology, um, which I'm really excited about. I've had very, very little exposure previously to it, and I have also heard that um, the main character in The Wolf of Oranyaro is a little bit older. She's a mother. She's an older character, which I we don't see a lot of in fantasy. Um, I've talked a lot about the Sword of Kaigen here on this channel by M.L. Wong and how much I love that the main character in that is also a mother. She's a little bit older of a character. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into another story featuring an older woman. Um, the next book I bought was The Deep by River Solomon. <laughs> um, if you watch my five-star predictions, this is actually one of my five-star predictions, um, and I've had it on hold for the, from the library for a really long time, but it went on sale a couple of weeks ago, so I just bought it. I bought it. Whatever. It's fine. The premise of the story, it's kind of based off of, like, the practice of, um, how slave traders used to throw pregnant women overboard, um, and so the idea is that those women become, over generations, become these sort of, like, mermaid-type creatures. I've heard there's, like, themes of intergenerational trauma, um, and it, I don't think it's going to be an enjoyable read, but I think it's going to be a really impactful read, so I am very, very excited to dive into that soon. The next book I picked up was Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Um, this is a YA retelling of Mulan, I've heard, um, or I've heard it's like Mulan meets Project Runway. Um, I know very little else about it except for that. Um, that's kind of what drew, drew me in. I obviously love Mulan. I feel like, I feel like pretty much every Chinese American kid did because it was like the only, <laughs> It's like the only English cartoon that had someone who looked like us. Um, but I love Mulan. Well, I have like a love-hate relationship with Mulan because I love, I love all the like TV adaptations of it. Um, like there's a couple of like Chinese versions that I've watched. Um, I love obviously the Disney film, but like the original poem gives me, gives me hives. Thinking about it gives me hives because I used to go to Chinese school, okay? Okay, if anyone's like Chinese American, I feel like you would know, and you went to Chinese school, you know. You learn the poem of, like, the Ballad of Mulan, and you have to recite it all the fucking time. No thank you, no thank you. Um, the next book I got, it was actually a free ebook, so, like, I'm not, I'm not that pissed about it, but <laughs> I downloaded The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovich. Um, I feel like I know nothing about this book, but Rue from Rue's Reading Corner, she has been talking about this, and... Apparently it's very problematic, but she still loves it. So anyway, whatever. It was free, so I downloaded it. That's why. Um, will I get around to it anytime soon? Probably not, but it's in my library. Um, the next book I picked up was The Secret History by Donna Tart. Um, I picked it up, A, because it was on sale, and I've been meaning to read more Dark Academia, um, and B, because... Uh, I'm gonna try to read it next month. I don't know. I don't I don't think I'll be able to get to it next month, but my friends have a book club called The Winers. Um, I will link their channel down below and their Twitter, um, but they are reading this, I believe, in September. Um, so I was ambitious and I was like, I'm gonna try to read this, but like my TBR's gone out of control. So like, who knows? Um, so I did pick that up. I don't really know anything about the secret history except for that it is dark academia and it's meant to be kind of like the one of the best dark academia books. I don't know. Anyway, V 
the next book I bought was The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. Um, if you watch one of my like first hauls, I actually bought um, City of Brass a while ago and I haven't read it yet, but the second book went on sale and I thought, why not? Also, sequels don't count. Even if I haven't read the first book, sequels don't count. Whatever. <laughs> um, and then the last ebook I purchased was I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. I've actually already read this. I gave this a four stars. I really, really enjoyed this. This is kind of a YA contemporary um, about a plus size girl who joins a competition to become a K pop star. Um, and it t tackles themes of like fat phobia um, and body image, especially body image in relation to um, Korean media, which is very, very similar to my experience in terms of. Um, Asian beauty standards and whatnot and I I really like this book I, I thought it was just gonna be like cute fluffy romance whatever but like I really should talk about this in my wrap-up but like basically one of the one of the main things that I think was really highlighted in the book is her relationship with her mother and like their relationship with her weight um, which I related to so much um, Anyway, I'm going to talk about this more in my wrap-up, whatever, whatever. Um, but, um, yeah, this was a really good book. I really, I'm really glad I picked it up um, while it was on sale as well. It was something that I um, was waiting for from the library as well. This is kind of what happens with ebooks. Like, they're usually books I already have on hold from the library, and then I see them go on sale, and I'm like, ooh, why not? Um, anyway, those are my ebooks. Let me dive into the physical books I bought. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to try to do these in like the order that I got them in. So a few weeks ago, I think I vlogged about this, but a few weeks ago I was feeling like sad. So after I, after work I went to the bookstore and obviously I picked up two books. Um, but I picked up Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I've been told it's very like K-drama vibes and I love K-dramas so um, I'm excited um, <laughs> to pick this up, but it's about a girl who is a gumiho, which is a nine-tailed fox. Um, and yeah, I don't really know much else about it. Um, it features a lot of K Korean mythology, and again, it, it is supposed to have those like cake drama vibes. Um, so going into this, I think I'm expecting like super tropey, super like fast-paced, addictive, um, kind of cheesy. Because like, if you watch K dramas, like they're not good it, like you can't say they're good but they're also super addictive and like you just fall in love with them so anyway I'm really excited to read this I meant to read this this month but I never got around to it but I'm really excited to get to this eventually um and then in that same shop I also picked up Jade War by Fonda Lee which I pretty much re read immediately um this is a five out of five star book if you don't know this about me already Jade City and Jade War the Green Bone Saga are some of my favorite books of all time and then I actually was pretty good about not buying books for a couple of weeks actually no that's a lie the week after I went <laughs> on my way back home from my parents house I decided to stop at the bookstore and I picked up these two books. The first book is Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Um, I have heard really, really good things about this book. Um, I don't really know the premise of the book. I just know that the world, um, the magic system, is supposed to be like coding. I've been told uh, that it's like the, the the problems they solve is very similar to solving edge cases in co in programming. So I'm really in interested in reading this from the perspective of someone who is a programmer um, and just kind of seeing how the magic system goes. I have heard the friendships and the relationships and the character work is really good as well which I always look for in a book so I'm excited. And then the other book I picked up was Gideon the Ninth. Um, I'm actually currently reading this. I'm, prob I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. This is about, I mean, the tagline is basically like lesbian necromancers in a haunted palace in space or something like that, um, which I was like immediately, I was like, yes, I need it. Um, but basically you have these like houses, nine, nine houses where you have a necromancer and then you have a cavalier, which is what Gideon is. And they're like their sword. So they don't have magical powers, but they can just fight. Um, and then they, the, all the nine houses are like going through some sort of like a trial to try and achieve like necromancer status of some sort. I think that's what's happening. It's a very confusing book but I I'm really really liking this. So far this is like a four and a half stars for me. Um, I'm about two-thirds of the way through. Um, yeah the writing style is one of my favorite writing styles that I've read in a very 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 long time. Possibly all-time favorite. It is just so funny and it is probably the book that I can genuinely say I enjoyed because if you know me at all the books that I tend to like are really dark really gritty um, and 
I really love them, but it's hard for me to actually say that I enjoy them because it's not like a joyful experience, but it's just like, I don't know. I love gut wrenching, like soul crushing things. Um, but this is actually like very enjoyable and it's very funny. Like it's genuinely like I've laughed out loud so many times and I just think it's so funny. That being said, I think if you don't like the humor in this, like it's probably not for you, but anyway, that was a bit of a ramble, but I really, really like getting the knife so far and I'm glad I picked it up. The hilarious thing is that about this is that I saw the book ebook on sale and I was like, no, I'll just wait for the library book. I'll be good. And then I picked up the physical book. So, and then the rest of these are, I bought on sale slash secondhand. So I feel, I don't feel bad, too bad about buying these. I went to the thrift store a couple of weeks ago, maybe last week, I don't know, and I picked up two books. The first book is His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. This is the first book in the Temeraire series. Um, I don't really know much about it, except that there's dragons and then there's ships, so I'm expecting like a nautical kind of situation, maybe? I don't know, maybe that expectation was not realistic, but I've been meaning to read something by Naomi Novik for a really long time anyway, um, and this is the series of hers that appeals to me the most, um, and I actually almost bought this full price when I bought, when I went to the bookstore and bought Gideon, um, and Foundryside, but I'm glad I didn't because I ended up picking this up at the thrift store for like four dollars, so I'm happy with that, um, and then I also picked up 15 Dogs by Andre Alexis, um, if you haven't heard of this, I'm not surprised. It was pretty big in Canada for like a few years ago maybe like maybe in like 2016 I want to say it won a prize. This is I believe a either an indie publisher or a small house pub or, or a small publisher. The premise of this is that the gods are like bored so they decide to um, grant human consciousness to a group of 15 dogs um, and kind of just see how it plays out. It's a little different from what I usually read but I was actually like I've been really interested in this book for a while. I first heard about it back in like 2016 probably um, at Word on the Street Festival, which if you are in Toronto, if you've ever been to Word on the Street, it's, it's basically like a book festival, but they have a lot of different uh, um, publishing houses there. Um, so Coach House Books was there and they kind of like sold me on this book, but I didn't want to buy it because it was like 20 bucks and I was like, I'm a poor student or I was back then. Like how am I supposed to afford a $20 book that's like 100 pages? That being said, these pages, these are like the the prettiest, like, best quality paper I've ever seen in my life. Like, truly. Um, <laughs> this is 150 pages, but look how, like, this is pretty thick for 150 pages, I feel. Anyway, whatever. The point is, I got the second hand, and I'm really, really happy. I'm excited to read this eventually. I guess technically this is a novella, because it's, like, pretty short, but, um, yeah, anyway, this was super hyped to me by the publisher, which I guess that's their job, but, like, <laughs> Either way, I'm glad I finally have it four years later. The next book I got, um, which again was featured in one of my vlogs, um, which I ordered online and I just needed um, to make up my shipping costs, so I picked up Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend, which is the second book in the Nevermore series. Um, I adored the first book, so I'm really excited to read the second book. We follow um, Morgan who um, was cursed and then she got whisked away to this world called Nevermore and then she had to do these like trials to try and stay in the wondrous society. I don't know where the second book is going to be quite honest um, but I'm still really excited to read it um, and I think the third book comes out in October so I definitely want to read it before then. Um, will I read the new book as soon as it comes out? Probably not because I'm gonna wait for the paperback so... <laughs> um, next I picked up two paperbacks, two mass markets. Um, if you are in Canada, you will know that like Indigo always does, um, two for $15 paperbacks and they, it's why I have so many like mass markets It's because they're just so cheap. Like you can't, you can't beat two books for $15, like brand new books. Anyway, whatever. So I picked up The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. Um, this is one of Katie's like new favorite books apparently and I really know very little about it except for that Katie really likes it um, and apparently the main character is like a huge himbo so um, I'm excited to read this. Um, I think there's dragons so dragons are always a yay for me. Um, and then I also picked up 
Zero Sum Game by S.L. Huang. This is a sci-fi thriller. It's a very mathy thriller. Um, I'm really excited to read this because S.L. Huang is actually a mathematician, I believe. Um, and uh, um, S.L. Huang came on my radar because they are coming out with a new book. I don't know if it's already out. It's a novella um, called Burning Roses. I tried to get an art for it, but I didn't get approved. So anyway, whatever, it's fine. Um, but Burning Roses is a novella that's kind of like a Red Riding Hood slash Ho Yi the Archer retelling, but I think it's like a uh, a queer retelling, so it's like a sapphic retelling. I don't know. It just sounds so good, um, and so I, w I wanted to pick up um, this because I also have been like craving a thriller recently. I'm really excited to um, dive into this because I do like a good kind of sci-fi thriller. Um, anyway, that's my other book that in the deal, and then <laughs> and then I went to the bookstore to sell my books. I sold my books. And then I promptly spent the money and a little bit more <laughs> that I that I earned. Um, so I picked up three books. The first book was um, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um, I've read this like a whole bunch of times, but I do I did want to purchase a physical copy that I could annotate because my only um, physical copy of this is I have this like antique bind up of. Um, Oscar Wilde's completed works um, and then I also have like the free ebook version but I did I really wanted a physical copy to annotate so I just picked this up secondhand um, from the bookstore um, and then I also picked up Frostheart by Jamie Littler um, I have heard really good things about this the illustrations are so cute that's kind of what like sold me on this because I was like I've heard good things but I wasn't like 100% sold on this um, and then I was at the store and I was like, I don't really need this. I could just like wait for it from the library or like, you know, get it on audiobook or something because it is like a middle grade. Um, but the drawings are so cute. I don't know. Like, I'm a sucker. Um, I have no idea what this is about. Um, I've heard it's like, if you like Frozen, you would like this. I don't really know, but it just sounds really cute. I love Frozen, so like... I'm really excited for this. And then the last book I picked up is something that I've been looking for at the secondhand bookstore for quite some time now and they finally had it. <laughs> and I was literally like, oh, look at this. My my wish came true. Um, but I, ooh, I picked up A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Um, I feel like everyone's heard of this book. It's meant to be super depressing. I know very little about it except for that you follow a group of friends around and it, and you follow their life in New York and it's just meant to be like the saddest book ever and I'm just ready for the pain I want to sob I want to cry um, I'm actually like really happy this is the UK paperback edition I believe um, I'm really happy that that's the one that they had at the discount bookstore um, because I actually don't like the American cover with like the crying man on the cover like I just don't want I don't want to see that man on my cover and in general I just really like covers that are just like typography like this um and the spine is like gorgeous like can we just appreciate a clean white cover spine I don't know text I, don't, I just really love the cover um I don't like that it's a UK paperback because it doesn't open properly and I'll probably have to crease the spine which really upsets me I'm gonna hold off on this until I have like an extended period of time to cry but I'm definitely like there will be there will come a time where I want to be in the fields and I will pick this up so friends those are all the books that I bought in the last couple of months I know I was on a book buying ban but like alas you know what like my justification for this is that like I used to go out like once or twice a week just to like have dinner with friends and stuff but I don't do that anymore so I'm spending like drinking and eating money on books so like it's fine um but no truly I'm gonna really really try to crack down on my spending and buying books because I really don't read them fast enough to be justifying all these purchases I feel like I'm gonna get like a whole bunch of comments from like friends being like hmm book buying ban you're not gonna be able to do it but you know what I'm gonna try and it's like A for effort you know A for effort um but no truly I'm gonna try until like November um because that's when a whole bunch of releases come out so I actually do want to buy books in November um so I'm gonna try to hold off in September and October as much as I can anyway 
I rambled on long enough. Um, that is it for this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Let me know if you've read any of these books and if you like them or not. Um, I feel like I've got a pretty solid selection of books here. So I'm really, really excited to dive into these. But yeah, let me know if you've read them and what you thought of them. But yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Thursday and Sunday at 10 a.m. EST. And... That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.